Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. It is about 20 to 8 on Saturday morning. Um, my wife came in the house last night and she's like, I think the Jeep is making a squeak. Uh, so we went out for a little ride and like two feet after it moved, I knew that the rear brakes were shot. So I spent a little bit of time ripping it apart this morning, but I just thought I would film uh, kind of the rest. Uh, I've ordered brakes from Napa. Um, I need to go pick them up for eight o'clock. So I'm just trying to get this uh, torn apart. Uh, she has to go to work. She's a nurse. <laughs> and uh, so it's very important that she has a reliable vehicle. Uh, so I'm just gonna tear this apart now or finish tearing it apart. We'll go pick up those brakes and then we'll get it reassembled. The bottom bolt here has a 10 millimeter. There's a 10 millimeter on the outside that supports this little bracket. And then there's another 10 millimeter bolt. This is a 17 millimeter bolt or a, a nut. And uh, you've got a, um, you've got to get a wrench on that or it'll just spin and spin and spin. Um, so that's kind of what it has. You have to take a nut off pull this guy off and then put your ratchet back on to uh, undo the nut but you've got to support this one here uh, otherwise it just won't work support the brake caliper. These brake pads are just massacred. The new brakes come with all the new hardware, so I'm not overly worried about these ones. <clears throat> just need to be able to get my prying hammer in here so I can get this last brake pad off. <laughs>
this actually this brake pad wasn't done that one was okay. take these other parts off afterwards but I'm going to collapse the caliper uh, okay so the brake caliper is off we got the brake pads off and now we've got to collapse it uh, but the Jeep again is something weird. Uh, you have to get in the vehicle, go to settings and uh, controls settings, and then put the brakes in um, in uh, maintenance mode. One second. Go to controls, settings, brakes, service mode. Yes. Okay, so they should have retracted. Uh, had the brake system open, so it probably didn't. I'll see if I can compress it now. Loosen off the brake cap lid so the fluid can come back out. This handy dandy little brake collapser that I normally use on brakes, uh, but this one's a little bit different, so I'm gonna try it. Yep, working like a charm. Let's see if we can just put this tool in, just give it light turns. push this all the way in and done so now we'll go to Napa and we'll pick up our new brake pads because this is already set to go uh, we'll make sure that we've got all the hardware and uh, we can get a steel wire brush clean this up and uh, get it back together again we're at our local Napa Auto Parts back with our new premium Napa brake pads we'll get those installed now Make sure that everything we need is in here. So all the new hardware is here. I'll go get a steel wire brush. We'll take these off and replace them with the new ones and we'll clean that all up.
Okay, everything looks pretty clean there now. The uh, slide bolts, the bolts are sliding pretty good on both top and bottom. I got a little bit different sanding wheel. I know it's the wrong thing, but it'll work. rust back here, stopping these new clips from going on, of course. get into these grooves in the back. Get the two bolts to attach the caliper. Grab the caliper. Compress those bolts. Okay, I'll install the bottom one because it looks like it's going to be a little bit easier. in. Now we'll do this top one. They certainly don't give you a lot of room or slack to play in here at all. And you gotta kind of guess as to where this is lined up. Let's 
in our 15 mil, 17 millimeter wrench. Get the little nut that goes on the back back of uh, this piece here. Slide that up nice. nice and tight. We'll do this bottom one now. Put the wrench on there. Okay, so that's nice and tight. All right, so I just have the other side to do. I'm not going to bore you with that. It's the exact same steps that I uh, that I just showed you putting this back on. Um, I'll get the other side done, uh, but we're going to call that um, an episode here today. I'm just going to reset the uh, brake cap, um, and then I'll switch the mode back on the settings to regular, and the brakes will uh, work as normal, and uh, my wife can get off to work. All right, so uh, to get that to enable, I just had to enable my parking brake switch down here, and now it's all set. Cordless makes that handy. All right, guys, until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Living the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.